Hey guys, my name is Frank, this is Pogvlog, and today I'm showing you Time of Exploration, which is a super duper basic number farming game. This is as basic a number farming game as you can go, although I guess it's not that basic because it does have these little graphics of what you're purchasing or what you're building with your resources. So basically you have three panels here. I have the buildings panel, which right now I have 100% of the buildings unlocked. You don't start out that way. You start out with simply a headquarters, and I think you can get a tree feller. And then you can draw logical lines to what you can build next. So you get a tree feller, then you get a sawmill and a stone cutter. And after you have those things, you can build stuff like a house, bigger house. Um, then you build storage, which allows you to collect more resources and so on. And you just keep collecting um, new resources, and that allows you to build new things, which allows you to collect new resources. You can view those resources over here in your resources panel. So in my little virtual village or city or whatever it is at this point, I'm not really sure, I can view my resources. And I have 2.7 thousand settlers, I guess. Or no, actually I have 4.2 thousand settlers. And I'm maxed out because I've reached my, my city population capacity, which is apparently 4.2 thousand settlers. Um, I'm not sure what the rate is. For increasing your your um, resources here but these green numbers with the plus next to them that's how many units of resource you're getting per iteration of the game logic so I don't know if it's seconds or minutes every couple of seconds I think I'm getting plus 2.7 settlers or for instance, for my food, I'm getting plus 10 food every so many seconds or whatever. And eventually it'll reach that 3.5 million capacity unless I come over here and build something like a small, medium, or big storage building. So let's just look over here. Check out my fish. I got 3.5 million fish. If I'm going to build a big storage unit, um, it's going to change my storage capacity. And now I can get 3.6 million fish. So it's kind of ridiculous. It's, if you like number farming games, this is cool. But if you don't, then you're probably like, what the heck is this? This is just super boring looking. And it kind of is. And when I first downloaded it, I was like, you know, this game is super boring. I'm not doing anything. Mostly I'm just waiting. If you look at the play time for this, it's like something like I've played for 54 days. But really, I've only sunk like maybe three hours into it because you just pick it up every now and then and play. It's very casual. You pick it up. You play for a little bit you unlock some new buildings you get some new resources very slow but look at this 84 days 11 hours and 50 minutes now is that my actual play time 11 hours and 50 minutes because that's that's actually kind of depressing that's like half a day of my life that's actually pretty sad i don't think that's actually accurate but who knows it could be apparently i've had this game for 84 days since i installed it but you have all these high scores of different people who are playing. Most of them haven't changed their name. It's just Dummy. Here we got Dummy A. Went above and beyond there to change his name. But at first I downloaded this game just simply because it was a super small download size. No special permissions in the Play Store. Just a free game. And I downloaded it and I was like, you know, it's not that bad. I'll keep it around. And it was an interesting play. You can click on these little icons here. And it will tell you what you need in order to build something. Um, and just this this breakdown right here is what it gives you. It gives you the little image up there. Someone put a lot of time into this, clearly. Um, I'm not sure if this does anything. If you click here, it tells you about your capacity of that specific resource. And down here is a little button that I guess if you're really desperate to keep on playing this game... You can click this and it will give you resources, but I guess since I have 100% buildings, maybe it's not giving me any more resources. But usually it gives you like, you know, like five bread or three logs or something so ridiculously useless that it's just like, uh, it can help you in the beginning of the game to get started, I guess. But, but anyway, this is Time of Exploration, just a really simple number farming game I kind of enjoyed. Thought I'd throw it out there for people to see because it's not likely you're going to stumble across this. I'm sure this game isn't exactly being lauded out there on the internet people are really probably telling other people to go down with this game so 
If you like number farming games, this is a good one. I'll put a link to the download in the description. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.